welcome back to my channel it's your favorite girl today i'm back again with another video of course otherwise i wouldn't be here you know what to do before i get into this video click that red and the uh, click, uh, mm -hmm. click that <laughs> Click that red button down below that says subscribe, make it turn grey, hit the bell next to it so you get notifications of when I post, so you get notifications of my next video, and make sure you're up to date. If you haven't watched my last at least five previous videos, I want you to press that cross button, go watch them, and then come back to me, okay? But today, we are here with something, because I think, I think, you know, where I am, we're in lockdown still, and I think by the time it's over, I think girls are going to run a bit mad, you know. I think everyone's going to want a bit of a, a good dick in, or they're going to want some love because they've been alone for so so long, or they haven't been able to see or receive anything. And um, I think you all need to be guided because a lot of you all are going to be looking for love or just be easily falling and tripping head over heels for some guys. So... I think that's a no and I think you all need to be guided on how to spot a a fuckery boy okay put it in simple terms how to spot a fool okay now I don't know about you guys but it all starts up like like we're, we're living in social media right so most people go on apps most people slide in dms most people just most people just do a lot on social media and talk too much on social media and i think that's the easiest way to spot a fuck guy if someone if a guy is moving into your dms and he's chatting still about hey sexy hey boo oh you're so amazing all this type of oh, bro. when i see them in my dms like i mean i'm not going for them anyway but when i see them i'm just like like why like why are we still doing this you don't know me and instagram is crazy like i see people in my request video calling me like what makes you think you don't know me i don't know you we have never spoken and you want to call me on instagram video just because you can and plus you don't even see it if you go in my request box by the way so just 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 so you guys know if you are instagram calling girls like they're not going to pick up especially if you're not they're not following you just so you know but a guy moving to the hey sexy or you know you start chatting to a guy and you're like he's like what are you doing and I'm like oh I'm just about to go to shower I'm just freshening up and they want to come chat to you saying oh can I join you and I was still on that that's a blog just block them straight away or if they reply to your stories and they do heart eye uh, or they do those um I'll put the emoji here those eyes what do you want me to reply to that? No, what, like, what do you actually want me to reply to that? There's, there's literally nothing for me to say to that. That's not you making a move because what am I supposed to say? I love when people just move to people's DM. I'll just tell my girls, like, just double tap it. Like, or just leave them on scene because I don't know what kind of movement that is. Hey, sexy. Talking about hey, sexy, hey, sexy, hey, sexy every day. Like, what's sexy about the day? I don't understand. But no, let me be serious and dive into some real... <laughs> real reason like i said we're living in social media so there's a few ways you can really suss out a guy if a guy's moving to you and you think you want to take it a step further if he's got twitter find out if he's got twitter because twitter is where people want to say that they're just on twitter they're just doing this for bands it's not their true personality no sorry trust me it's the real them if it's not the real them it's their ego it's something in them guys chat bare rubbish on Twitter like bear rubbish like if you just go on their tweets scroll scroll and have a read this is how you'll do if they're either disgusting and have no respect for themselves if they're a predator and like literally mad it will just let you know what type of guy he is because Twitter you can say anything even if they've got no followers or whatever people still chat so please check his twitter to know if he's the same person and if it looks like he's moving mad a big block him. instagram is there for a reason instagram is slick though because they removed that part where you could see what people are liking that would have been a clear giveaway to let you know if the guy was <clears throat> adsense or not but you can still see my girl you can still find out all you've got to do is be a little bit creepy but check your mutuals do you have mutuals how many mutuals see who he's following if he's following girls from all around the world but has never left the country was a born and raised in the country that you're both living in and somehow he's following all these type of girls 
and you can see that he's been liking their pics or whatever if you go that far because that's a little bit you know but if you go that far if you've done all that my friend no block see ya bye you are doing too much are you actively hunting girls and as well as that if he if like if you're looking for a serious relationship and he's following all these type of models he's following all these type of girls and sees no reasons like what, what for me if you want to be serious you should be following people that actually motivate you or inspire you or your friends so i'm not sure are these girls with that are modeling whether they're slim or they're bigger or they've got a big bum or they got big breasts or they're just looking cute they're looking too fine and that's why he's following what's he following them for is he following them to inspire his erection i don't understand i don't understand is he following them so that in the morning he can see and that his prick is standing he can do one of no i'm sorry see ya by x like if you want to be serious and you want to attract a serious guy all these ones that are not showing seriousness bye but let me just say it. if he gives you his d and you take it because that's what you wanted then you've got in your reward but here we're learning how to not fall for a fuckery guy but if you take his d that's your reward go and be going you know you're not part of this video all right <laughs> sis if a guy is awake like we like compliments and they know that they know how to hype you they know how to gas you they know how to ginger you they know if you're their spec they know and they will use their mouth that their mouth that their sleek mouth to grab you and that's how your head mm -hmm. you'll fall for anything let me tell you if he is too complimentive like Every second, every day, baby this, baby this, I love you, you're so beautiful, you're this, you're this, talking about your appearance, talking everything, just every second, it's compliments rather than a real conversation, <coughs> go and be going, he just wants to taste you, he wishes he could taste you, but you're not gonna let him taste you, cause he is what, he ain't serious, he's just a fuck, but he just wants to have a taste and dip, if he can, he is not gonna be serious, okay, thank you. I cannot stress this point enough because you girls will just be doing my head somehow, somehow. If you're chatting to a guy or he's chatting to you, whatever, and he literally tells you he is not looking for a relationship, he is just taking things slow, can you girls open your ears and hear that? Don't go thinking, no, I really like him, I like his vibe, I can change his mind, we're gonna be in a relationship. You might do that, you might get in a relationship, he might just ask you out because fuck this girl's pissing me off, let me just do it, and then whatever happens happens but i know i'm not going to be serious because i literally told her i don't want to be in a relationship you will end up breaking up and then you know what you're going to go on twitter you're going to go start posting some quotes on twitter or um instagram saying that guys aren't shit no they're not that, 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 that's not the reason because he literally told you he's not in a relationship he doesn't want to be in a relationship sorry so if he's told you that and you still go on to be in a relationship expect shit because he literally told you. So you guys too, you need to hear a word. Alright. The worst. Oh my goodness. In this social media life. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate this type of guy. If this type of guy is a guy that you... Uh, I hate guys, yeah. When you upload a photo looking all good. And they will not comment on the photo. They will not even like the photo. Or they might like it. They won't comment on it. And they will now share your photo to you. And now give you compliments upon com compliments. No, I don't understand. If you want to move to me, move with chess. Comment on my photo. Like, why are you doing it in secret? Be careful of some of these guys. Let me tell you. Because they're the type of guys that will then have a conversation with you after you've responded to their compliments or whatever. And felt because maybe you're vibing with them. They will now send your conversation to their men's group chat. Or boys group chat, rather. And take the piss out of you and talk to you. So be weary. If they can't compliment you with chess. Or rather, only keep comment Like only talk to you when you've uploaded a photo bye bye is that your only reason to chat to me just be no bye he doesn't have your time he doesn't have your what time if he was really chatting to you telling you for after a few days i'm sorry babe i've been busy or not responding on time like yes we all work we all do this type of thing but if he's not responding if he's not even the first one to hit you up like maybe he was the type of guy that when he was moving to you he was chatting to you first and doing all those type of things now that he feels like he's sort of landed you like he's got you where he wants you and he's not responding he's telling you he's busy and he's apologetic and things like that i am sorry 
ex they have time so while he hasn't been messaging you he's now been messaging amanda funke sarah jesse it doesn't make, let it make sense i don't understand and he's also able to upload on snap or instagram or whatever but he hasn't replied to your messages or called you or done anything after a few days or what no that's taking the piece and then if you finally call him and he picks up or whatever or he responds and it's half past by by they make time for what they want to make time do not believe a guy that says that he's been busy or he just hasn't had the time they make time for what they want add into that if he only calls and when he calls you and talking about real things he's just again complimenting you and he's just calling you because he wants a little bit of that pum pum action he's not serious those are usually the devils that just got out of a relationship. But if, if you even know that he just got out of a relationship and he's moving to you, no. Whether it was a two-week relationship or whatever, you don't know what that relationship is like had about them. So please do not let this guy move to you. Do not. Who are you giving? You guys, close that leg. Close those legs. Let me just tell you that. That's even the most important. Close those legs. Do not open them up for anybody that doesn't have your time and that isn't ready to give you the love that you deserve close the legs close that mouth because no okay close everything up if he also talks to you on the hush like he calls you when at odd times odd days odd hours or whatever he's got a girl or he's talking to one of the girls he doesn't no no that is a clear sign if when you call him he doesn't pick up but it's always he, you know he's the one calling you and whatever and you're picking up and no sweetie mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. that is a no he's got a girl he's got something going on you're just gonna be a side piece and then it's gonna drive you insane when you realize that you've been a side piece this whole time so don't let yourself go there no better yet if you decide to meet up and it's not in public he's telling you to come to his house no if you try it and say no let's go out in public and whatever and he's still still like maybe when you're out in public just act like friends he won't hold your hand or hug you or do all these cute type of things it's just friendly vibes he's got a girl there's something going on he's not interested in you he's also not into you he's just taking a piece he just wants something and then wants to dip he's not gonna be a serious guy Lastly, if you're with someone that doesn't want to romanticize you, doesn't want to buy you things or whatever that's cute on your birthday or just like flowers or something or just do, you know, some real handsome romantic things but yet you went all out for him on his birthday or for some reason or on an, or on an anniversary, you're doing it for boy. If he also tells you that he's broke, I'm sorry. Guys who know they want you regardless of whatever situation they're in will do the work for you. They will, they will do the work for you. The last thing I'm going to say, believe their behavior and not what comes out of their mouth actions speak louder than words that's a whole saying for a reason with guys believe 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 their actions rather than what comes out of their mouth unless what comes out of their mouth is you know talking looking like the truth in terms of him saying he don't want a relationship believe that but um do not fall for these like guys do not fall for a guy that is not into you social media is so easy for you to tell if you're serious or not and if you're seeing a guy and every girl has got a story about him or he's always posted up with girls or whatever no 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 you don't want to be a part of one of his stories i beg mm -mm. but anyway guys that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it it was just a quick little something <laughs> that I just pulled up and make sure you hit the like button make sure you leave a comment down below of course make sure you subscribe to my channel make that red button turn gray hit the bell next to it so you get notifications of when I post don't forget to follow me on all my social medias Instagram and Twitter but yes I hope you guys enjoyed the video and until the next video bye